So today, join me in O Christ TV, Daily Living and Finance. I uh, decided to go to use the water filter, Bridger water filter. And this is because it's economical and in the long run, although we'll be buying bottled water, but we've decided to get the water filter jet Bridger. Um, it's a known brand and it's good. However, when you pick up this, it looks complex. Looking at the manual, it's kind of complex procedures where you have to read. So um, because we've used this before, we decided to you know, use this again. And I'll show you through a brief setup, just five minutes setup, of how to use this um, filter. It's very good for you. And after filtering the water, you will notice it's different from tap water. It tastes nice. So it's quite good. And here is it and uh, we're just washing it so you, first of all you have to wash it with warm water really hot water not boiling just to save the plastic but just hot water not boiling water after washing it this came with three cartridges so this cartridge shows you how you're gonna um, be getting it up so you're gonna put it in water um, you allow it to soak in water, bubble all through, then turn out the water before you put it into your water jug to filter the first water, filter the second water. Then at the top filtering, um, your water is set to use. Thank you. This is the cartridge it came with. So we're just, uh, mine came with three cartridges. You can get, this is 2.4 liters of water in it, water hold. And it came with three cartridges. Um, these are some of the cartridges. We have some of the cartridges, um, so three of them, but we're going to be using one today. And the right process is when you open the cartridges, you just want to dip them into water and uh, let the bubble, let it bubble through. Um, this jug has been washed with hot water and soapy water, just to wash away any BP, any silicone, anything, you know, just washing this because it's to be sterile. So you just soak it up with water. Um, so now the water bubble and put it again, just no bubble, then take it up again, just no water bubble. So twice we've put it through water. So now you see it's all set. Then we bring it out and pour out the water. So the jug and the filter has been washed with hot water, not boiling water, but hot water, hot soapy water. And now we're going to put in, please. Uh, making sure that the filter fits in yet it's well fitted in so that's it we're now going to go to the tap and fill it up with water we're going to let it filter through so it's just filtering through but however because this is water filter you want to achieve something clean you have to let the water run through the first time and do it again a second time and then before you can use it for drinking so this water has to filter through the first time through the filter and then we'll do the second one and before we then commission it for use we're filling the jug again with the second water so hopefully as uh, this water goes through in three minutes so this is the second time we are filling the jug up and we'll just leave it to run through and we'll empty it for the second time. The third time the jug is ready for use. And one thing you don't want to do, you don't want to um, filter your water and leave it out there. Filter it and put it through to the fridge and use from there. And also, um, when this is done, as I show you how to set up the timer, um, which you should try to change every one month or two months, depend on family use. Thank you. This is a second time, so we're just pouring out the water and um, once it's all filtered, so the jug is ready for use now. So we're just going to go in and put more clean water now for it to filter because it's been filtered three times. So and all the water are out. So this is that. It will be coming out um, when it's set up, properly set up. If it doesn't set up, if it doesn't come out from the um, holding room, you have to bring it out. 
and reset it up again but this shows is properly fit in place so and it's filtering very well and um, just as i mentioned to you you don't want to keep your water filter on forever because it's filtered water now you have to try to change the cartridge this is the cartridge you have to try to change it every every month or two months but we're a family of three just now so it's just good to change it at the end of every month or at the end of every hundred liter filter so um this is the uh, top here now we're going to set up the timer this helps you um it should come up yeah um so to 100 percent we're trying to set up to 100 percent Yeah, that's a hundred percent. So as soon as it keep going down, uh, you're gonna take it out at the end of every month, depending on usage actually. So we're family of three, so we're looking at turning it up at every month's end. So just to have fresh, clean water. And one thing you don't want to do is to leave this out as it's filtering. It's better you put your water back into the fridge, you know, and drink from it just as it filters out. And if you don't like drinking cold water, you could pour it into your water bottles as a filter out and keep your filter jug in the fridge. It's actually very good and it's economical. Actually, I said to go into this because we've been buying bottled waters and we don't find that very economical. Um, I'll show you some of the water I bought. The jug is all set and ready for use. And we shall putting it into the fridge and it's just gonna sit here and we shall be drinking it from it it's important to change your filter cartridge at the end of every month or at the end of 100 liter filter thanks for watching subscribe to my youtube channel bye for now